Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy. And, uh, you know, this morning, uh, in my prayer time, uh, the psalm, and I, when I say the psalm, I, I use this as my daily uh, Bible reading, the one-year Bible. Uh, uh, it's a, get it where you can see it a little better. Uh, it's very, very good, very good outline of going through Scripture, and uh, I felt Satan's been attacking me personally. And you ever just kind of feel down, and you feel a, you know, just depressed, and maybe uh, that Satan's just, uh, you know, just pounding you, and. And I felt like that this week. But then I read in the scripture in Psalm 68, 19, and I just read a portion of this psalm. It says, Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is the God who saves. From the sovereign Lord comes escape from death. And uh, the Word of God feeds us and strengthens us. It's alive. Um, uh, it is what gives us uh, knowledge of Jesus. For, they are, for the Word is Jesus' words. Every bit of it is. And I felt myself strengthened uh, when I heard that. You know, he, it is God. If you're a Christian, it is God who daily bears your burdens with you. And sometimes we don't feel like that. Now, look, we trust our feelings too often. You know, our emotions. Trusting emotions can be very dangerous. Uh, because just because you, you, know, you may feel like God has forsaken you, God's not with you, well... Just because you feel that way doesn't mean God has forsaken you. He hasn't. Uh, emotions uh, and our flesh wear us down. And our daily bread from the Word of God, though, feeds us and reminds us that God our Savior bears our burdens. Uh, he is the one who saves us. He is the one who, who delivers us. Uh, there's some other scriptures here in Psalm 68 uh, that state, Surely God will crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crowns of those who go on in their sins. The Lord says, I will bring them from Bashan. I will bring them from the depths of the sea that you may plunge your feet in the blood of your foes, while the tongues of your dogs have their share. Now that sounds like, oh man, that's a rough scripture. How can that apply to us today? Because we know in the historical context, this was talking about the enemies of the psalmist. But to apply it to our own spiritual lives, uh, we got to understand it as our spiritual enemies, those things that come against us, that the Lord is going to crush the heads of our spiritual enemies that battle and wage against us. Satan and his demons, their day is coming. And God is with us. He is with us in our battle against the demonic powers. and He will crush them. They wage war against us. For our, our war, St. Paul reminds us in Ephesians 6, is not with physical beings, not with human beings, but against spiritual forces, against oh, spiritual forces of wickedness in high places. And I, and, uh, and I use the... I was using uh, this little 
uh, booklet. I hope you can see it. This is the First English Prayer Book or the 1549 Book of Common Prayer. Uh, and uh, I use it as a guide in my prayer and my scripture reading uh, generally. Not just this one. I, I have a variety of devotional sources I use besides the 1549 Book of Common Prayer. But there's a, a prayer for this week. Uh, the was he calls it a colic, but it's a mainly a th theme prayer, and it reads, "We beseech the Almighty God mercifully to look upon Thy people, that by Thy great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul through Jesus Christ our Lord." Amen. And I thought that tied in so well with the psalm, the psalm reading. Uh, for this for this morning because we we need to beseech the Almighty God to mercifully look upon us that we may be governed by him because if we're not governed by him we're going to go into hey the devil's going to take advantage of us and and, and and work us over but that we be, Governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Um, let's trust in the Lord when we go through uh, rough times. Is what I, I'm I'm getting from the from Scripture this morning. Uh, Satan wants to. We have an enemy, Satan, and he wants to wear us down. Uh, and there's another. Another prayer in Psalm 68, it's in verse 28, a good prayer for us to pray just about any day, probably uh, every day, and wouldn't it be a good prayer to pray at the beginning of church when you go to church on Sundays? It, it reads, the psalmist states, Summon your power, O God. Show us your strength as you have done before. God, summon your power your strength as you've done before as you've done in times past the psalmist was saying and we can say Lord do it as you did it in the Old Testament saints lives as you did it in the New Testament saints lives Lord summon your power and bring it into our lives bring it into my life and help me in my daily struggles with the devil the world and the flesh May, folks, we ever trust in Him. Amen. God bless you all, and I pray you all have a blessed day.